Well, now, this is a very interesting story because beside us here we have uh, Mary Ann, isn't that correct? Mandy and Gary. And Gary, you've come from Boston, Boston in the United yes, States yes. of America, to be with us today. I knew that my dad's grandfather came from Ireland. He was a firefighter, and he died in a fire. His name was John, with no middle name. Uh, he, we heard he came over here from uh, Tomb. And with he a can't go away. With a, a brother named Patrick, and Patrick came back to the, he didn't like it in the United States, so he came back here. Mm -hmm. And that's about all That's about know. all you know. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. we've got our man here, John, who should be able to fill us in on some of the story, okay. at least, John. So you weren't exactly sure when he came to the States or when the, the brothers came to the States. And we've managed to find a passenger list. And here it is now. This is for 1914, the SS Arabic. And if you come down here towards the bottom, you'll see there is your grandfather, John mm -hmm. Collins, aged yeah. 19. Yeah. And there's his brother, Patrick Collins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They're, they're leaving from what was Queenstown, is now Cove. It's outside Cork in the south of the country on the 21st of October, 1914. Um, two young men on a big adventure. Mm. Okay. And we got them in the 1911 census. And this is the household here. And you can see there's James and Kate, the parents, mm -hmm. and the children. Patrick, Maggie, Delia, John, and Thomas. You can see as well an unusual thing about the, this time in 1911. All of the families speak Irish and English. So this was still an Irish-speaking area uh, in 1911. This is Bally Boy. And you see the, on the map, you can see the, the houses down near the lake here is where they were living. And we've also managed to go back and have a look at the uh, birth certificate for John, for your great-grandfather, and this is it here now. And you can see it's May 1896. John, John Collins and Kate Collins, formerly Taylor, in the townland of Ballyboy, in the parish of Kilbenham. Um, so there you are, you, you're definitely connected as tightly as you can imagine yeah. to a very particular area mm -hmm. and a very that's particular great. family. Wow, okay. that's right. amazing. Okay. Is that an original birth cert? That's a full birth cert. Yeah. Extraordinary. Yeah. 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 Yes. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's so exciting. Uh, you, you would be entitled to claim Irish citizenship on the basis <laughs> of this, Gary. <laughs> 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 okay. Dual citizenship, right? Yeah, that's great. But are you bilingual? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't trouble enough with English today. <laughs> <laughs> but you were saying when you were telling your story that the two brothers came over, isn't that right? Yeah. And yes. one of them didn't quite settle down, so he came back to Ireland, isn't that the case? That was the story we heard, yes. Yeah. And we got a little photograph of the homestead, as you'd say. Yeah. So there it is. Oh. Is that today? What it looks like today? That's what that it looks today, like today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it looks like today. Oh, wow. And there's a neat. I'm welling up here. I'm going to cry. I don't know about you guys, yes. because this is your family. I mean, this yeah, is yeah, it. it's amazing. It's one thing I want to do before we leave is go out to our homestead and actually stand on the ground my grandfather stood on. We've done a little bit more digging, so we don't just have a picture of the homestead. We've actually got one of your distant relatives, and his name is Frank Collins. And he's here, he's actually standing right behind you. That man in the blue jumper and the glasses. <laughs> so, uh, a long journey uh, from Boston to be here today. Oh, wow. Was your journey worth it, do you think? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And when you go back to the Thank States, you. what will you take with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. I guess I'm one of the few people in Ireland that did not know I had any U.S. relatives. It's amazing to see the pictures of the family homestead and to meet new relatives is just beyond anything we can mm. imagine would happen to us. It's just fantastic. Certainly, I think, you know, being able to build those bonds, being able to understand where you come from tells you a lot about yourself. And I think that's important. 